I'm going to show you one of my music festival staples, and that is deviled eggs. Eggs are easy to eat, they're easy to digest, mm. they're high in protein, and they're delicious. Just gonna bust out a little cooking video right quick, you know. You know, it's not like I'm not doing a hundred million things getting ready for this festival, but I thought I should just show this little video since I'm doing it, and I think some people might like it. So, here it is. Four and three and two and one, one. Hello, my name is Kindle Fire, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make deviled eggs, but with a twist. It's going to be deviled eggs with a bunch of superfoods in it. Deviled eggs is such a wonderful snack to have in your cooler. You can obviously make them however you want. You can make them the classic way, but this is the way that I am going to make them today. And Something I really love about deviled eggs is the possibilities are endless. You can literally make any kind of deviled eggs you want. You could make like a Thai version, you could make a Mexican version, you could make it sweet, you could make it spicy, you can make it plain, you can really do whatever you want and this version with the superfoods makes it amazing. Let me show you what we're going to be putting into it today. First we're going to be putting in veganaise. I prefer veganaise to mayonnaise. I think mayonnaise are gross. Um, I really try to stay away from as much dairy products as I can. I'm not super, super strict about it at this point in my journey right now, but I do what I can and I think that mayonnaise is gross and it's bad for you. But the vegan version is really lovely. You can also make your own, but I didn't have time to do that today. We're going to be putting in some pink Himalayan sea salt. Sea salt actually is really good for keeping you hydrated. A lot of people probably don't know this, but there's a lot of minerals in salt, and salt will keep you feeling good. And if you get dehydrated, you can put some salt on your food or even put some in your water. But you need to have mineral salt. So it needs to be pink salt or brown salt or black salt or gray salt. Any kind of salt with a color means that the minerals are still in. Stay away from that iodized white salt. It's pointless. All the minerals are gone. I don't know why you would eat it. These are some pickles that I got from the farmer's market. They're garlic dill pickles. So I'm going to do this. Usually in a traditional deviled egg you would put some kind of relish in it. But I wanted to stay away from the unnatural sugars that are in relish. Hence the local honey. This is local honey from where I live in the Sonoran Desert and eating local honey from your area is really great if you have any kind of allergies. It can help you combat those allergies. So we're going to put this in for a little bit of sweetness. This is hemp seeds. It is a superfood. It's a complete protein and it also has omega fats in it. I'm currently doing a plant-based keto um, diet, for lack of a better word, but diet lifestyle. I'm really loving it. It's making me feel awesome. And part of plant-based keto is you eat high fat and low carb. And this, actually, JK, this has fat in it. This has protein in it. This is MCT oil. It's flavorless. It is made from non-GMO coconuts, and coconuts is a healthy fat, and I'm trying to get as much healthy fats in my diet because my body runs on healthy fats opposed to sugar or carbs. It feels much better to run on fat, not going to lie. But yeah, this is a really great supplement for when you're dehydrated or when you're working really hard. I actually was tipped off to this by a bodybuilder who takes the supplement after she works out and before she works out and it helps her recover quicker. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. I'm not going to measure anything, I'm just going to eyeball it. You really can't mess this up. You could always just put a little bit in and taste it as you go. I don't have any measurements for you, but yeah, you can figure it out. You can do it. This is the whole recipe. You just add it all together and voila. So the first thing that you do is you're going to boil the eggs and then after put them in a big bowl with ice water 
that's what this was, used to be ice, but cool water, and that is a little trick you can use to crack the eggs easier. And then your next step is going to be to peel the eggs. All right, so after you've peeled your eggs and rinsed them off, you're gonna want to, wait, how's the best way to cut it? Shit, no, like this. You wanna cut them lengthwise. Ooh, that one broke, so I'm gonna use that one as a tester. When you have your little cup, you put it, put one, um, have two containers, and one is for the egg whites, and one is for the egg yolks. So, you see how they're like kind of messy on the inside? After I do this, I like to rinse them off, so I'm leaving them out right now, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna put them all into that container. Something about eggs and hard boiling eggs, if you've ever boiled them and not been able to peel them, is it's better for you to work with older eggs. So like fresh new eggs are gonna be harder to peel, and brown eggs are actually easy to, easier to peel. Or colored eggs. These are farm-raised, natural, happy chicken eggs. I really do my best to be conscientious about where the food that I'm eating is sourced from, just to nourish my body in the best way that I can to prevent sickness and to give me lots of energy to do all the things that I want, like go to music festivals. Um, but you know, also because I really want to support with my money and with my energy things that I believe in. I feel like if more people did that and we all stood together, then some of these big companies that are acting in unethical ways would be forced to change their practices so they can keep their bottom line going because it's obvious that's what they're after. But it starts with you, it starts with me, it starts with our friends, our family. Starts with you, Moo Moo, and LJ. this much left and this how much I have so I'm just going to finish finish what I got call that good you know cooking to your own taste is really the mark of an accomplished chef this is recommends like two the serving is like two tablespoons so I mean, I don't want it to be like super oily, so I'm just gonna put like a little in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I'm gonna put a little bit of these. Oops. I don't want this to be like overpowering. I just kind of want it to like be snuck in there. So I'm not a big like sweet person, just because I've been weaning myself off of sugar. So I'm not gonna put that much in. I'm gonna start with this and see how that tastes. And then if I want it more sweet, then I'll do that. And last thing is the pickles, but I gotta cut them. I really like 
pickles, so I'm going to put a lot in mine. And you just want to chop it up, make it like fine, chunky. And so I just use like the rest of it as like a dipping. Like I dip my vegetables in it. Okay. Mm. It's good. I want to add a little more honey. Oh yeah. The honey. makes it taste so good. Wow. I'm going to put a little bit more salt. you can just open up your container scoop some your magic super food yumminess mm. <laughs> mm. oh my god I'm so good. That's how you make deviled eggs for your next music festival vacation. If you liked this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, and turn your notifications on. I will keep making cooking videos, music festival prep videos, and yoga videos. So stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Have a blessed day. Have fun at your music festival. Make all the friends. Eat the best food. Be so happy, have so much fun, goodbye.